everyone, welcome to Whole Artist Mastery. I'm Marianne Mitchell, and today is a just paint day. And what I'm going to be doing is going back into this painting in what I call Reckless Abandon Part 2, which means that I'm at a place where I'm really, ha I really have no connection with this piece. The composition is going nowhere, and my emotional connection with it has disappeared. And so when that happens, I just say, well, I'm just going to dive in and see what happens. And so you're going to be watching me dive in and see what happens. So the first thing I do when I'm going back into a painting in Reckless Abandon Part 2 is to look at it all four ways and decide which way is inviting me to go back in the most. So I'm looking at it in this direction and turn it this way and then I'm going to keep going here and look at it this direction and I think I think I want to go back into it in this direction if you're going to ask me why I'm going to tell you just because that's what I feel uh, as opposed to having some logically um, spelled out explanation. <laughs> so what that means is that I'm going back from a place of feeling as opposed to a place of thinking. So let's see how it goes. Thank you. 
intentionally stayed silent during this process as opposed to telling you what I was doing and when I was doing it because when you're in that mode of reckless abandon if you're if I'm talking to you or trying to explain what I'm doing it interrupts that flow of intuitive um, voice from somewhere inside me out through my hand and onto the panel with paint so I'm going to explain to you now what I was doing um, for some reason I felt like this cool blue was what I wanted to apply first so I used titanium white with um, cobalt blue and quinacridone red and um, cadmium orange. These are all oil paints and they're actually all gambling paints, which is my preferred uh, brand. I'll get into that at a later point down the line in other videos. And um, so I mixed that together and made this color and then I brought in a little bit of manganese to make the blue have a, a little bit of a um, kind of uh, glowier effect to it. And so then I covered all of this with a squeegee, which is, a, it's a silicone, uh, it's made of silicon rubber and uh, I bought it at the Cold Wax Academy, which I highly recommend um, as a place to buy these squeegees. And I, pulled it in, pulled the squeegee through the paint and applied it on the panel. I had this little bit of orange um, in the painting from a previous uh, session of painting on it. And I really liked that. So I thought, well, you know, wouldn't it be interesting if this whole thing was this cool moving from greens to blues to grays and then having this one shock of orange in the lower right corner over here. So I mixed that with cad orange and cadmium yellow and I very quickly realized that the um, cad orange was overpowering the cad yellow so I wanted it to have a little lighter quality, a little more yellowy orange to it so I cut it in half and added more uh, yellow to the orange and applied it here and and at that point I felt like okay so I would like to have a little bit of gray around the orange and this is where it is right now I also wanted to share that I use the Gamblin solvent free gel as well as walnut oil so I started with the walnut oil and this is uh, M. Graham and Company. This is a gambling product. I started with the walnut oil because I wanted the, this color, this paint to really be somewhat liquidy and creamy and move around and then rub it in. Oh, a very trusty uh, tool is a kitchen dish towel rag, which is a great, you know, you want something that's got a little heft to it. There are times when I use t-shirt material, um, jersey knit, but this isn't um, hefty enough to push the paint around the way I was doing earlier. <clears throat> so just to recap, my important tools are dish towels and sometimes um, old t-shirt rags the solvent-free gel, the walnut oil, palette knife, squeegee, and oil paints. So there you go. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing the active painting uh, at hand here, in hand. And if you liked the video, please press the little like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I invite you to go look at my website where through December 31st, 2022, this is uh, in the middle of December in 2022, we're about heading into 2023 here, I'm offering $25 off of each online class. So would love for you to take a look. We have three offerings. The first one is practical color application for painters. So all of this is covered in that particular video. 
The next one is entering abstraction in oil pastel, which is a great medium for getting you into the realm of abstraction. And the third one is understanding your visual language, because I fully believe that it's our own true expression that um, determines how you use visual language as opposed to following a certain book of rules. Um, so thanks very much. I'll catch you next time.